Today's RV upgrade on this hot and humid July day. That's an understatement. <laughs> I'm sitting there, I can feel the sweat foaming on my forehead. But what we're going to do today, we're going to take care of a problem that we have with the screen door. Now, both Cheryl and I do this when it's open and we go to close it. We grab here a lot. I mean, in this piece that you're supposed to use, it's, I mean, that's kind of flimsy. But our big concern is this here, because when we close it, this has been pulling out on us. So before we break that and have to replace it, uh, there's a cheap little piece you can add called crossbar. It will put probably uh, maybe an inch or two above this area right here. And it's going to firm up the door and it's going to have a good place to grab to open and close. So let's get started. Now the kit came with the crossbar naturally, a template, and six screws. That's all that comes with it. And to install it, all we need is a drill with an eighth inch bit, a marker, a ruler, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a level. So let's do it to it. So we have it, well, I don't know, about two inches up, but it is level. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to take the marker and I'm going to mark the four holes. That will be just like this. What we did after getting our marks on the door, we carried it over. We had one side of the template taped down. We will explain the template in a minute. As I came over with it, I put it down on the taped side and Cheryl lined up the other side over here. And then we taped it down. Whole purpose behind the template is you wanna make sure when the bar is mounted inside here that it goes past this line. If you don't put it in far enough, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna eventually break on you. Whereas if it goes past those lines. It's a nice solid fit. Nice and solid. So, you just make sure that you have it lined up past those line, line A's on both sides. It's, I don't think it really matters that it has to be measured or anything like that, but just make sure it's past line A on both sides and you should be golden. Now once you established that it's centered, this bar, what you wanna do is you put one side on and then make sure nothing moves. Lift it up and put this side on and line it up. Because this is lined up the way it is, we're gonna put a piece of tape right here because it's not gonna interfere with a thing. This is not on the instructions. This is not in the instructions. This is a this is a Chuck and Charles from Get Gone With Us uh, <laughs> little tip. AKA OCD. Yeah. Because now I can pick this up and go put it on the door and just make sure everything is lined up perfectly without worrying about anything. We are good. Now the reason for the tape is these are going to be screwed to the bar right here. So with that on there, we're gonna mark and then we're gonna drill. Now those screw holes are gonna just permanently mount it here. <laughs> so safe to take the tape off now and then we're gonna drill the holes on both sides. Marks. They've been marked. Now I'm using a cutting board. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't really where I would uh, normally do this, but okay. Line it up. Get it going the right way. Do not go all the way through the other side. Then just gonna put the screw into the hole. Do not over tighten. That's one. The other screw out. Line up the hole. Okay, now we have a firm handle right here. We just need to drill the holes in the door, mount it to the door, and we're done. Now these are our two holes on the left-hand side. It's imperative that you be careful and do not drill through the screen. 
<laughs> so just start, line it up, start drilling. You will feel when you were through the piece of metal you're supposed to be. Just feel for it, don't keep going. See, just like that. Then you come up to the next one. So you line up the next hole. And mind you, we did change the drill bit because the other one was whooped. <laughs> so again, line it up, start it going. Feel for when it lets pop through, just like that. Once you feel the drill jump forward, pull it out. Don't go any further or mm -hmm. you're gonna have a hole on the other side. That's right. All right, I'm gonna have to step outside to get these two because the handle is in the way. Oh, and in case you've noticed, I'm in stock and feet. Did you see the video when we went and picked up Maggie and Cheryl saw the floor? Take your shoes off, so I'm not, I can't wear my shoes in here anymore. <laughs> Line it up. Just like that. Line it up. Right. There you go, that's all four. Now we just have to mount it. Don't do it tight yet. Now, one over this side too. See how this works. I like that. Nice. Looks pretty cool too, huh? Yes, it does. Oh, yeah, that's cool. oh, I do like that. Oh, that looks almost natural. Mm hmm. That should have been there. Let me try it. Nice. I like it. <laughs> Okay, some closing thoughts because we really got to get the AC turned on because it's getting muggy in here. <laughs> but the bar itself, make sure it is centered between the two end caps, more or less, just so you don't have a problem on either end of it and it's nice and firm. When you're drilling through the screen door, do not drill all the way through. <laughs> just, there's no need to. You should be able to tell when you get through that first piece. Other than that, we really like this upgrade. And it was easy peasy. And if you like this video, we'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, you can subscribe. We got a lot more stuff that we're going to be doing to Maggie. Feel free to share and comment on this video because until we do something else to Maggie, the end. <laughs>